hey guys, if you like what you see today, make sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing. Hey Linksters, how you doing? So today I wanted to talk about one of the toughest shots in the game, and that's that 25, 30, 40 yard pitch shot. I feel that one of the problems that people have uh, when, when they are confronted with this type of shot is the simple fact that most amateurs only know one speed, one tempo, and that's the full swing. With these types of shots, obviously you're taking an abbreviated swing. I've got 56 degree wedge for this shot, and we've got probably about 25, 30 yards for this shot. My goal is gonna be carrying it right to the pin, so we're gonna try to hit right on that 28 yard mark. When you're dialing it down, you need to still have speed in the swing. And when I say dialing it down, I mean taking an abbreviated swing. You're, you're looking to find a swing based on your full swing distance and then gradually bring it down to something that mirrors the yardage that you're trying to hit. One of the things that I see that's very, very typical of most golfers, most amateur golfers, is having the body slow down and not continue to rotate through on these type of shots and just having the arms kind of take the lead which is which causes a lot of the bad shots we see the chunks when the body slows down or the or hitting it thin hitting it too deep so one of the biggest tips that i can give anybody with these types of shots and i talk to my students about these these shots all the time is picture your belt buckle or your belly button not only rotating through going towards your target but since most people don't even get that far with the body continuing to rotate through post impact I tell them to try to get their belly button or belt buckle left of their target so basically you need to keep the body turning through even on the abbreviated swing okay? It's, it's not something where you load up, abbreviated swing, you get to shoulder shoulder height or hip height, and then kind of slow down into it. You got to really keep that body moving and turning to a good, good equal finish to wherever your back swing is. So if you're going hip height back, you want to try to get hip height through and keep that body turning. So we're going to hit a couple shots. Again, it's about 20, 28 yards or so. 56 degree, so I'm going to try to feel it kind of maybe a little bit of below hip height and then rotate the body through and try to get my belly button belt buckle left of our target. Let's see how we do. Okay, that's right about the mark we wanted. And again, when you're lining up all the stuff that we talked about in previous videos about alignment, uh, posture, it's a little bit different setup for these types of shots. You're going to be lining your body up a little bit left of your target, so you're a little bit more open than we normally would be for a, a standard full swing straight shot. So if you'll notice that, I'm a little bit open, meaning my feet, uh, knees, and hips are going left of my target line, but our club is still straight down that target line. Okay. I'll hit two more for you. So the idea is narrow stance, a little bit open with the body, club coming to a predetermined uh, length back, which is all based on how far you hit it with your full swing. So if you take your fit, hit your 56 about 100 yards with a full swing, then for a 50 yard shot with normal tempo, you're probably gonna wanna go halfway with normal speed, normal tempo, okay? But the big key on this last shot, and, and for every shot that you hit for these types of yardages, is to finish that swing and keep the body moving. that hope that helps keep that body rotating try to get your belt buckle belly button left of the target